What's up, folks? I love you so much, and thank you for viewing my content. My name is Ronald Sima, and uh, thank you for stumbling over the so many YouTube channels and accounts and uh, coming to view this one. You might be very little, but hey, I love you so much, and I cherish each of you. I'd love to say hello to all the people that create me great music, uh, Faisal Mostrix, Joseph Arins, and Susan Karen. And by the way, her album dropped on the 29th of, um, of uh, April, 29th of April, and uh, it's got songs like Guinea. I love the title track, From Ashes We Rise. I love that one so much. So my friend, today I'm here to talk about something that I gathered quite a little more information that I didn't ask to get, but when someone saw one my previous vlog, they added information to me. And like I said, my content is here to fix society. If you think there's something that you can contribute and add on to this and maybe add on to my research, please, you're very, very welcome to share that down in the description below or into my comment section. Like, uh, hate if you can. But above all, subscribe if this makes sense to you. I love the music. Susan Karenin, thank you for the music. And today I'm going to be talking about Bride Price. Welcome back. Bride price is our topic that we're going to be talking about. And uh, my God, my God, let me start by thanking my friend, Miss Gilmore Isla. Thank you for the enlightenment about uh, bride price and dowry. Did you guys know that these two are different? And did you know that one of them applies for the male and another applies for the female? Yeah, if you did not know, buckle up, sit back, enjoy the talk. Because dowry belongs to the male. And if a family, the daughter's family or the female's family feels a little affluent than the male family and uh, they would love to contribute to the family as uh, the marriage starts, they can give that um, benefit or whatever that might be valued uh, to the man or to the man's family for the dowry. Dowry applies for a man and it is very much uh, a practice. It's very much of a practice when we go to the Indian society. They pay dowry. Now, bride price is literally a price put to a bride. And do you know why? It's because in the medieval days, the days when the girl or the females were service providers, they were even born into their homes to make sure that they take care of the home. They help their mothers. They produce if they're going to be given off for marriage or if they'll find marriage. So basically, they were supposed to be service providers. They are the indirect maids of the home. So if the family is going to be losing that service, then it's going to lose it at a cost. And that's why they put a cost to the girl when she goes to get married. If I'm losing my cow and it's been giving me ghee, it's been giving me milk and butter, then I'm going to lose it at a cost so that I can compensate with the, the dent that has been left behind. Peculiar, peculiar. She's a slave, like medieval times looked at her as a slave, as a mini slave. The only reason why she was not really put into the slave quarter is because she was, she had DNA. She had DNA with the family. So, uh, when a girl, a value is attached to her, and you are a man and you're taking her, then you're definitely going to give the equivalent of that girl when she goes. Now, 
Last week I told you about a friend of mine who I came to know about his not well being with his wife at uh, court when he was being remanded to prison. And I came to gather something more when I came in for bail, when I had gone in to be his surety in court. And I came to realize that this guy actually took uh, what was his mom's inheritance and he went to pay for his wife's bride price. Now that's when the dots connected why he even mentioned certain things that I found hurtful that his wife told me was so painful and was so hurtful but because if I weigh also in that guy's shoes and my mentality is the same as his Maybe I would say those things. I cannot disclose those things on such a pl public platform, but these things just know they were bad things. Now, I came to realize that men sometimes are not literally bad people, but because the minute you put a value or you attach a value or go into a transaction somewhere, then you're going to feel obliged to not mistreat, to treat something or rather to recoup the value for what you invested in. Which takes me back. But if you understand that this person is just your friend and they love you for free and they're not your sister, then you're going to treat them better. So my friend, learn, you claim, you want your families and it is prestigious. Actually, where I come from, a girl feels prestigious when they pay, I mean, bride price for her. But trust me, it's just not bride price. When we get down to the practical way of looking at things, this man is going to want to extract the value that he put in. And it's going to come out through you. So my friend, this bride price thing, not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. My God, horrible things were said to her, but why wouldn't I push my tractor to the extreme limits when I bought it at maybe, let's say, 25,000 US dollars? I bought it to plow. I bought it to, 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 to till the ground. And if it's not tilling the ground, how am I supposed to tolerate that? Now, some of you are going to be seated and say, but hey, this is a human being. Yes, it's a human being. Have you not heard of slave trade? The minute you put a cost onto something, I've had people who disrespect their maids and house helps at home, but it's because you put in something. And every time you put in something, you want to extract its value or its equivalent. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great pleasure. Uh, viewing my content and uh, Isla, thank you for this enlightenment that you gave me and teaching me the difference between dowry and, um, and bride price. Uh, folks out there, please you feel free to subscribe if this makes sense to you. If it doesn't make sense to you, I just hover off and just go ahead. Uh, like, comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget the red glaring word is there in case this makes sense to you. I'll be right back and uh, Joseph Arin, Susan Keronen, Asante Sanam Ziki.